20th of September 1944, the Battle of Arakor, France. German panzer forces have launched a strong attack against advancing US forces near the city of Nancy, and some units of the 4th Armoured Division are pinned down. Taking off in thick fog, Major Charles Carpenter heads for the battle. The fog clears. About lunchtime, and Carpenter espies a column of German tanks and vehicles moving on Arakor. Diving down, he launches his attack. Does Carpenter drop bombs? No. Does he strafe the columns with 50 cals? No. Instead, he fires six bazooka rockets at the rumbling Panther tanks before shearing away and heading home to rearm. What were bazookas doing being fired from an aircraft? What the Germans don't realize is their column is being assailed by a man nicknamed Bazooka Charlie, flying not a fearsome beast of aerial warfare, but a slow, fixed undercarriage artillery spotter plane, a Piper Cub grasshopper with the interesting name Rosie the Rocketer emblazoned on its side. Major Charles Carpenter was a pilot serving with the U.S. Army's 1st Bombardment Division in France. His job entailed piloting his L-4H Piper Cub spotter plane on artillery support and reconnaissance missions over German lines. Carpenter did his job well, calling in artillery to support U.S. infantry and armoured divisions. But his little plane was unarmed, and this began to bother and annoy Carpenter. With constant targets presenting themselves down below and the artillery not always able to hit them quickly enough, Carpenter decided to do something himself. Weaponizing a grasshopper was a tricky business. Its low takeoff weight, vitally important for short landings and takeoffs in fields within the battle zone. Carpenter decided initially upon a pair of bazooka rocket launchers. The anti-tank weapons were attached to specially designed brackets, screwed onto the wing's jury struts. The weapons were loaded and the firing mechanisms wired to a panel in the cockpit so that Carpenter could fire them remotely and in any sequence. Carpenter conducted a series of tests with the pair of bazookas against ground targets, the grasshopper able to swoop down low at extremely slow speed, enabling Carpenter to take aim and fire. The bazookas were angled at 30 degrees, and the rocket's hollow-charge warhead could happily punch through 3 inches or 76 millimeters of armor plate, making many German armored fighting vehicles vulnerable, particularly from flank, rear, or in this case, top bazooka strikes. Carpenter christened his plane Rosie the Rocketer, and increased his armament to six bazookas, three under each wing. Carpenter now had the means and the will to start dishing out his own brand of trouble. The Mad Major, or Bazooka Charlie as Carpenter was quickly christened, soon found some juicy targets. He would locate a German tank from higher altitude and then descend rapidly, making a short attack run and releasing his bazooka rockets, hopefully on the target. Bazooka Charlie was credited with destroying or immobilizing four German tanks, two noted as Tiger Ones, and an armoured car. In the normal scheme of things, Carpenter's Piper Cub was not shot at by German troops because it would reveal their positions to the enemy. But once Carpenter started rocketing their vehicles, this policy was reversed, and the Mad Major faced rifle and machine gun fire as he made his attack runs. The attack he launched on a column of Panther tanks on the 20th of September 1944 was notable for its persistence. After giving the Germans all six rockets, he returned to base, reloaded his bazookas, and then flew back to the German column, firing another full load at the enemy armour. Then, incredibly, Carpenter returned again, reloaded, and flew back through a storm of lead to rocket the German column for a third time. He received official credit for immobilizing two Panthers and several other German armoured vehicles, not to mention killing and wounding many German soldiers. By the time the war ended, the Mad Major was a lieutenant colonel and had been credited with knocking out or immobilizing 14 German tanks. He made it through all these hair-raising missions without a single wound, picking up a silver star with oak leaf cluster, the air medal with oak leaf cluster, and a bronze star. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share and help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below. Thank you.